So we coded our own dark mode in Google Sheets the other day, and we attached the script to all of these icons as well as this custom menu. But then I had somebody say, hey, Eamon, what about keyboard shortcuts, which I love? What if we had keyboard shortcuts? And check it out. We've got keyboard shortcuts to run those scripts. How about that? The way to do this, uh, you can do it a couple ways. What we're using, we're using macros. So if you come up here and you go extensions, macros, you can see that we've got all of those uh, same names for the functions that we created as macros. Now, one way to do this is go up here and say record macro, and then go up here and just run one of these and then save the macro, and that records the macro. We're gonna cancel that. I did that for one of these modes, but the way that Google actually recommends to do this is by coming into apps script into this JSON file and stay with me, it's not as big of a deal as it sounds like. When you open up your app script, this is not displayed by default. So what you do is you go to project settings and you have to actually check this box so that that file shows up in your editor. Once it's in the editor, when you open it, you're not gonna see any of this stuff. All of what we need to add is below this. All that you're gonna see out of the gate is time zone, dependencies, exception logging, runtime version. So we do a comma and then we paste in this. We paste in sheets and then this object underneath the sheets is macros and it's an array of macros. We do menu name synth and what that means is back over here in macros, the menu name in the macros menu. So I'm just naming it the same thing over here and I'll prove it to you by saving it as synth2 and that will update over here as synth2, okay? So we're giving it a menu name and then we're giving it a function name. And this, if you recall, is our function from over here in our regular apps script that we programmed. Oh, and the shortcut. So in Google Sheets, you have to have Control-Alt-Shift to run macros. So you can uh, program this to any of the uh, one through nine. I don't know if zero works, let's find out. Yeah, zero works, so that, that worked just fine. Hope that's helpful. Uh, that was a new find for me. Big thanks to Ivan over on LinkedIn who suggested this when I posted about the original apps script video.